Well, President of the Senate, Ahmed Lawan, has again assured Nigerians that the National Assembly is committed to accountability and transparency. Lawan gave the assurance while inaugurating West Africa Parliamentary Senate Press Corps in Abuja on Monday. Represented by Deputy Senate President Ove Omoagege, Lawan said lawmakers of both chambers of the National Assembly, in synergy with the executive arm of government, will treat with urgency national concerns such as insecurity, unemployment, and diversification of the economy. The infiltration of politicians into the media by way of ownership of media houses, as well as the influence of some of these politicians on the top brass of the various media houses, is a worrying trend that is fast reducing the importance of the media in the African continent. Let us support the media to be able to adhere strictly to our ethics. Poverty imposes ethnic violation. We have identified how essential the independence of parliament is in determining the quality of governance enjoyed by citizens of a nation. In other words, where parliament is untwisted, the voice of the people is silenced and democracy suffers. We must ensure this never happens to the National Assembly or in any parliament within the West African sub-region. In the ECOWAS parliament, the contributions of members have been very immense and the ECOWAS parliament's press call right from inception has supported disseminating widely the information about our activities. The parliament has reserved a special place of partnership with the media. Under the leadership of the Ninth National Assembly, lawmakers of both chambers of the National Assembly, in synergy with the executive arm of government, we also treat as a matter of priority and urgency areas of concern such as insecurity, unemployment, and diversification of the economy. This, of course, is the spirit driving the Ninth National Assembly inaugurated 27 days ago with the belief that the fourth estate of the realm, the media, will help in driving with objective reportage as against sensationalism or subjectivity in whatever form against any arm of government.